Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have a glimpse, December glimpse for you for all zodiac signs. We're going to go by the elements, water, fire, earth, and air. And if you don't know what those are, I'll explain them to you as we go on. I'm going to shuffle here in front of you, pull a full few cards for you. And we're going to go on like that. See what Spirit has to say. See what's coming in for you in, in uh, December of 2021. That last month of the year. Okay. And then we're going to get ready for 2022. Which is going to be something else y'all. You have to watch those videos that I already have posted about those. Because during that year we're going to have four Mercury retrogrades. So y'all better get ready for that. Okay. Already pre-shuffled. First element is going to be water. If you are a water sign, you are a Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Remember, this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below and I'll get back at you. This is my cup, y'all, in my store. My store is called Magic in the Air. This is the first item and only item that's there. I'm working on other items. It's an 11-ounce coffee cup. I'd appreciate it if you go on to it and look. The, the, the link is down below. I haven't drank out of it. That's the little tag there. I haven't drank out of it yet. Or most likely I won't because I'm just using it for show here. But this is the picture on my page. Also, if you are another tarot card reader coming onto my page, please stop copying my work. I've seen a couple of people have done that that I had to report. This is a branded channel. You are not allowed to use my videos or my information for your revenue. You can share it for other people to see, but you cannot post it to your page to make money off of it. It's branded and I will report you, okay? And you will get shut down, okay? So I saw one lady, queen of something, I can't think of her name, she copied one of my videos, even had the same heading, the same title. I'm not cool with that, okay? So if you are another tarot card reader coming on here, don't dare copy my work because you will regret it, okay? Come up with your own titles. Don't mimic me or copy anything that I do, okay? With that being said, we're moving forward. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What do we see for December coming in? For water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Give me the first card for December 2021. Okay, first card popped up. We're going to probably pull three for each card. Show me what you see for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I always pull the first card that you see. That's the way it works. Show me Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh-huh. Here we go. All right. We have three cards here. I do see that you had an ex that had come in and went back out that left you with a broken heart this is the broken heart card but it's in the reverse i do feel like during the retrograde that we just had in october that this ex might have come back or tried to come back or maybe contacted you through social media or some kind of way to deliver an apology this is the card of apology when it's in the reverse and the upright it means heartbreak due to a third party so i am seeing a third party here that cause much heartbreak okay but this ex came back rushed in because this is the card of the player rushing in and then rushing back out during mercury retrograde that always brings in exes when we're in mercury retrograde it brings in exes okay and if you haven't watched that movie it's up on top of my page go watch it i'm sorry that video go watch it about mercury retrograde as we are going to have four mercury retrogrades in december i mean next year in 2022 which is going to be a horrific year because of those uh, retrogrades. So make sure you watch that video so you know what to expect. All right. So this ex did rush back in, came with this apology. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops, I didn't mean to do what I did. It was an accident. Okay. None of that is sincere because they most likely rushed back out or are going to rush back out when their ex 
When the person that they left you for left them, they came rushing back in to see what they can get out of you. But their apology is not sincere. I am seeing some of you that are feeling a little weak. This is the sign of defense. You're de having to defend yourself when it's in the upright. This is the seven of swords. It's in the upright. You're in deep, deep thought about something. In December, you have been for the last few months or maybe this last month, something, someone, perhaps a co-worker is bothering you and you've had to defend yourself, okay? you've had to defend yourself because here they are jabbing at you this card also represents lots of gossip in the workplace or at school or just amongst friends or something like that blue represents deep thought if you see this man he has a mad look on his face he's jabbing back down with his wand trying to protect himself but if you see he has the upper hand because he's on the hill so he has the upper hand being able to jab back down but it's in the reverse so i am seeing that you had some kind of argument with someone or you were pulled into the office or something like that to that effect where you had to defend yourself but it didn't go that well it didn't go in your favor you kind of lost out on that okay the universe is fixing to flip this card back around and bring in justice for you but at the moment it's flipped in the reverse because you feel like things aren't fair you were innocent but yet you were accused of something you didn't do or something to that effect and that's exactly what happened to me this happened to me at, you know, I can't say where, but this happened to me. Somebody was gossiping about me, lied about me, and yeah, and I didn't come out the winner. It didn't go in my favor because they made it look like there was too much against me, that I was the uh, the aggressor when actually I was the victim. Okay, and that's how you're feeling as well, that you, you are actually the victim, but they made you look like you're the aggressor. Okay, but I'm guarantee you the universe is going to flip this back around. Yeah, so you're going to come out of the winner in the end. Hold on, y'all, for a second. Okay, I had to plug my phone in because I hadn't charged it all day. Um, yeah, so don't fret because the universe sees everything. God sees everything. And he knows when you have been, your name has been smeared and the, that you need justice. So I do see justice coming. This card will flip back around so you can be able to defend yourself against the gossip or whatever was done wrong to you whatever wrong that someone did to you is going to come out in the end the truth should will prevail i'm hearing the truth will prevail and your name will be vindicated because you want vindication for your name they try to smear your name okay and this was someone that was most likely younger than you that's just a troublemaker um yeah and they made they played up to the boss or to whoever playing very innocent and the victim and then you you got in trouble or called in for something like that Okay, that was for Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for December 2021. Next would be Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we see for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for December 2021? This is just a glimpse. There will be more of these coming up. This is just a glimpse. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for December 2021. Give me the first card, y'all. Give me the first card. I'm asking spirits for the first card for... Okay, here we have one, oh, almost the same energy. I'm actually going to use these three because they go hand in hand. I am seeing the um, five of, seems like everyone has this energy here. This is the five of wands. This is scattered energy. It looks like there's a fight with more than one person. This could be a fight at work. Seems like you are in deep thought about this. The blue represents a deep thought, and there's many different types of people here. You see how their gowns are all different yet the same uh, these people are passionate about fighting because they're all wearing red so they're very passionate about fighting spreading gossip fighting each other don't even know what they're fighting about so i see some of you in this mode for december or still lingering on from something like this where there was a fight so some type of issue disagreement with more than one person at least five people and um yeah so again it's the same energy as the other one getting pulled in fighting could be a union or something to that effect of the job or something like that where there's a huge fight amongst more than one person i am seeing the hangman i am seeing the, okay let's go with this one first because this one came first this is the end of a karmic cycle i'm seeing due to this fight here you're going to have the end of a karmic cycle so you might be ending a job in december starting a new one in 
January or maybe it's the end of a relationship or the end of something, okay? Because the universe is closing that out. It no longer works for you. It's closing it out. And it wants you to move to a higher face because here we have the hangman, which means moving up and out to a higher face. You see, I feel like you were in depression about this. There's much depression when it first happened. The brand new day that you were hoping has seemed so far away. Blue represents deep thought. So you now you're in the reverse. So now you're very passionate. Here's the red on top. Very passionate about moving away from this situation that's causing you the stress here. Okay, so now the depression is going down. You've made a decision. This could mean jail time as well. And the upright jail time and the reverse meaning moving away from that. Um, you're still in deep thought about it. So you're moving away from whatever is bringing you this sadness, depression, feeling of imprisonment because this also can mean self-imprisonment or jail some of you might have went to jail but you're ready for a change you're ready to close this out the universe is going to close it out for you because it no longer serves you for your higher good and it wants to move you higher up so here's the hangman in the upright which is always a good card you see the light here uh, again deep thought lots of passion so you're moving up and out from whatever situation no longer serves you the universe is literally closing something out for you moving you up so you will be moving up to a higher level could be work could be your love life could be friendship or family anything that no longer serves you for your higher good the universe is going to take you up and out of that okay that's for december taurus virgo capricorn earth signs for december 2021 that is just a glimpse i will be doing more for december as the month progresses next one is going to be fire signs which is aries leo and sagittarius for december 2021 show me fire signs Show me fire signs. Aries, Leon, Sagittarius for December 2021. What do you see for fire signs December 2021? Give me the first card. Woo, look at that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, y'all. I'm moving my camera. Okay. And decision. We're going to use all four of these. Oh, my God. Sorry, y'all. My camera's just <laughs> it's falling apart here. Yo, I got this new phone, and I can't figure out the camera on it because it has a strip here, and then it has a strip down here. So I don't know if I'm, it's either my camera or the app I'm using for to make these videos, but I don't like this strip here, and I just can't seem to get rid of it. So I'm still working on it. All right, so I am seeing that there was, with the Four of Wands here, there was some type of postponement. You could have been getting married, an engagement, moving to a new house, relationship, friendship, whatever, new job. But there seems to be some delay, some stagnation with the Four. I'm sorry, yeah, this is the Four of Wands in the reverse. And the upright means marriage. You see how they're getting married, walking through the thresh threshold. There's people celebrating in the back. Brand new day. Getting married brings in a brand new day, brand new life, brand new era. But it's in the reverse. So that means there's some stagnation. Maybe the person got cold feet, decided to walk away, or um, decided, you know, they don't want to do this anymore. Maybe your job that was going to hire you, send you a letter at the last minute saying, uh, we don't need you anymore. Uh, maybe you walked away from a friendship. Or a friend told you, hey, look, it's time to you know end our friendship or maybe you were expecting something that didn't happen okay so next we have the three of swords here i am seeing this person that has this delay uh that caused you this delay is coming back okay in december they're coming back they will be apologizing but let me tell you this is not a real apology this is fake okay this person wants to because in the upright they caused you much heartache you see the three hearts swords piercing the the heart here look at the back crying raining depression so in the reverse it's just the opposite they're coming back they want to apologize i'm sorry didn't mean to do this but it's not sincere it's not real okay so i am seeing be careful with that energy i am seeing the two of pentacles in the reverse this also means that all the while you are balancing this i'm seeing money issues as well that you've been trying to balance your money issues but now you're in the reverse so in this december you might be a little bit off with your numbers balancing your numbers not able to uh 
not able to balance that out again due to money issues maybe that's why this was postponed over here didn't have enough money for the wedding or something to that effect but for some of you i am seeing money issues at work maybe the bonus isn't coming maybe you don't have enough money for the holidays or something like that so it's throwing you a little bit off a little bit off but you will come back around in january i am seeing again this card is coming up a lot this is the um seven of wands a little bit of gossip amongst you people are jabbing at you here you still have the advantage here because you're on the hill so you're able to protect yourself you feel the need to protect yourself in december against gossip lots of gossip at the workplace friendships in your your inner circle or whatever i do see you defending yourself uh fire signs aries leon sagittarius you're going to be defending yourself okay there's a lot of people that are going to come at you or a group of people that are going to come at you you feel like you're in the defense mode okay so you got several things going here the delay delayment someone coming back with a, a fake apology money issues they're feeling a little bit off because of money issues but all these cards are court cards so they do flip back around okay if you get a major arcana those are set in stone you can't flip those that energy back but these energies here flip back and forth this is why i say it's good to watch tarot or you know get daily readings or listen to horoscope because these energies flip back and forth according to the planet lineup our energies flip back and forth every day so people can say well you you said this that and that but then this happened because these energies flip according to the planet lineup all right this is what happens if you don't know astrology then you need to look into it all right so i do see that you will be able to defend yourself you're going to have a little bit of hard time in december with somebody causing you a little bit of problem okay but you will come out on top and as the winner okay aries just watch out for that person coming back with a fake apology could be a friend could be an ex you know last but not least we have air signs which is gemini libra and aquarius for the month of december 2021 what do you see for the month of december the month of december 2021 for gemini libra and aquarius uh -huh. okay what do you see for mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. we're gonna go with all these here mm, mm, mm. okay i'm seeing trouble in december i'm seeing trouble in december gemini leave in aquarius i feel like you're going to take a time out now here we have the four of swords this is a soldier that is or a person a soldier anyone that is too tired to go on cannot fight the battle no more in much need of prayer so this person is laying down here praying you see his praying hands and then there's people praying for him he's asking for other people to pray for him so they're looking at him looking down and they're praying for him i'm also seeing these swords here which represent imprisonment so some of you might be going to jail or feel like you are in a self-imprisonment um and whatever situation you might be in could be school love work whatever but you feel the self-imprisonment in your mind because it's just too much to handle you just can't handle the situation hold on so um you're gonna be in that energy so you're taking a time out be because of that maybe you're going on vacation or just needed to rest or you know be off by yourself again we have the nine of wands here in the upright this is someone that feels like life has beat them up you see how he's wearing a bandage on his head look at the worried look on his face he's looking around defending himself to see where the enemy is coming from and here's people behind him that he is defending his life his friendship his love his work all these poles represent that he's leaning on this pole to help him stand up because he is weak from fighting but yet he's still able to stand still able to defend himself much much deep thought because of the blue but it's in the reverse so that means that is why you took the time out because this situation got too much for you it got too big for you so you had to take this time out okay i'm seeing a um every living sagittarius coming in that might want to cause you these problems so you took this time out because this situation got too big it could be anything whatever you're facing remember oh this is general so it's for everyone and um yeah 
So also here we have this person again. This person is very, very aggressive. This is the Five of Swords. Very aggressive. You see how he is smirking. He's laughing because he was able to fight his opponents and take their swords. He has several swords here that he took. And they dropped their swords and just walked away because they could not handle this fight. So that is how you're feeling. These both cards indicate the same thing. But only this one, this person uses their power of aggression. They use their own way of aggression to gain what they want for themselves. They can manipulate people into doing stuff just by their words. So this is what's happening. You meet, you're dealing with someone like this could be at work or wherever you're at. You're dealing with someone that uses their own power of aggression, their own words, twist things around to make things look better for them, to steal your power, your position, your energy, your woman, your man, your friends, things like that. So you are dealing with that energy in December. And also you're feeling like there is no justice because the justice is in the reverse okay in the upright this is a fair judge that brings justice for all the scales are balanced here he's holding a sword to show his power but in the reverse there is no justice because of this person that has come in this is the devil that really this person actually this person holds the devil energy all right but this got to watch out for this person but so you are feeling this kind of way Gemini Libra and Aquarius in December, where you're going to have to take this time out. Again, these are court cards. They do flip back and forth, except for this one. So I am seeing that it's going to be a while before you get some kind of justice because of this person. You're going to have to really fight back. You're going to have to fight back so you can be in this position in the upright and so you can flip this card around this card is better flipped around that means that you're up and ready to fight again but for right now you don't have that energy so it is good to take a time out meditate pray ask god to help you you know with your problems and see you know because the best power is what the higher power Nothing can beat God. Nothing can outrule him. He has the final say-so of every situation on this earth. All you have to do is believe and talk to him. And I am going to say this. We are in our last days, y'all. We It's very, very critical now. If you've been putting it off and putting it off, now is the time to get right with God. Now is the time to form a personal relationship with him. If you haven't, do so. Because we are very close to the great tribulation. We are very close to what's going to come. We are very close to that. Very, very close. I can't tell you when because I'm not God. You know, only he knows that. But I do know the signs and I do know we're very close to that. If you haven't formed a personal relationship, do it now with God. Ask for forgiveness of your sins because God forgives any sin except for blasphemy. If you don't know what that means, that means talking against him. Okay, don't ever talk against him because you won't win. All right, but God loves you. You're his child and he's waiting for you to come. Most people have forgotten about him and the rules that he set for us, you know, in the very beginning of time. So it's time now. This is your last chance. This is your last chance now. It's time now. The time is here to seek him, find him, and form a personal relationship with him and follow him. And, you know, just lead, lead a life every day of, you know, praying to him, talking to him, asking him to lead you. Ask him to lead you in the right direction and to do his will so you can make it on the great tribulation so you can make it to heaven, to where we're supposed to be. You know, nothing matters but that. We're only here for a very short time, and it's a test. We're only here for a test. Which road are you going to take? Okay, there's only two roads. Okay, which one are you going to take? The one that leads to heaven or the one that leads to you know where? All right? So make the right decision for yourself. Get right with God. This is your last chance, y'all. Your last chance. We are in that error. Okay, we're in that error. We're very close to the great tribulation. All right, y'all. I don't want to scare you, but it is the truth. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up. And if you want a personal reading, hit me with the information down below, and I'll get back at you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.